Hello! In this video, we will learn how to create our own facial expressions and make use of the lip sync system. Let's select a character. We go to the Animation tab and under the Expressions, we select Neutral. We go to the top left of our screen and we open the composition we just created by double clicking on it. Here we see color controllers that enable us to change the colors of the eyes and the eyebrows. If we had selected a female character, we would also be able to change the color of the eyelashes. Further down, we have motion controllers for the eyebrows, and right below, we see some compositions for different parts of the face that have slider controllers on them. It's very easy to create your own expression. No need to look at PDF or HTML files to find the right mouth or the right eyes. In the Frame Story Kit, Everything is happening right inside After Effects. At the top left of the script, there's a button called Extras Preview. We go to the page about expressions. Here, we see the eyes direction. Let's modify our expression to understand how it works. We select the composition Eyes Master Edit. This slider is where we add our values and each value represents different eyes. Let's move a few frames. Let's go to our script. We can choose number 4 to make our character look to the right. We put the number in our slider controller. We click here and type 4. Let's go to our main composition and hit play. Let's undo what we just did. We go to frame 60, we select the controllers left eyebrow base and right eyebrow base. We hit Shift P on our keyboard to reveal the position properties and R to reveal the rotation properties. We add a keyframe to all of them. We move 5 frames and lift the eyebrows a bit. We add some rotation as well. Minus 5 is okay. We add the opposite amount to the other eyebrow. Let's go to the script to the page that contains all the mouths. I like this laughing 10. Now we choose the Mouths Master Edit composition and we put the value 10 to our slider control. Let's move to our main composition and hit play. As you may have noticed, in some poses, we added head rotation. Let me show you how quick it is to add rotation to the head of your character. We go to our character's head composition, and down here, you can see a head rotation controller. We set a keyframe to the slider controller that we want, press U to reveal the layer's keyframes. You can play around to see which values suit you most. I will move 5 frames and increase the value. Let's go to our main comp to see how it looks. By the way, if you add glasses to your character and then rotate the head, you will see some slight parallax between the eyes and the glasses. I will delete those keyframes. Let's undo the change of the mouth that we just did and make use of the lip sync system. We go to the next page of the script. Now. Let's make our character say Frame Story Kit. We just need to find the number that matches with the letter of the syllable that we want. So F is 45. With the mouth composition selected, we add the value 45. We move forward 3 frames and type 46. Move forward 3 frames and type 42. Move forward 2 frames and add 44. Forward 3 frames and add 43. 4 frames forward and add 41. 3 frames forward and add 49. 3 frames forward and add 46. 3 frames forward and add 41. 3 frames forward and add 46. And 3 frames forward and add 41. Now, we go 3 frames forward once more. In our script, we go back one page and from this list we can select Smile 3. So, 
we add 20 to our slider. Now let's go back to our character composition. We add our sound file and hit play. Frame Story Kit. Frame Story Kit. Frame Story Kit. And we're done. That's it for this tutorial. Feel free to experiment with the expressions and the lip sync system. And I'll see you in the next video.